I think for many of us, of course, it is very hard to believe that it's been uh, 15 years that have passed since the terrorist attacks on September 11, 2001, a day that forever changed our nation. More than 400 first responders lost their lives, and 2,000 suffered injuries that day. Today, we all honor those who had made the ultimate sacrifice. It was the first responders who chose to run towards the dangers, and others ran away. It was the first responders who put their lives above everybody else, above their own. And it was the first responders that made us so very proud on that fateful day. At 8.46 on the morning of September 11, 2001, an airliner traveling at hundreds of miles per hour and carrying some 10,000 gallons of jet fuel plowed into the North Tower of the World Trade Center in Lower Manhattan. At 9.03, a second airliner hit the South Tower. Fire and smoke billowed upwards. Steel, glass, ash, and bodies fell below. The Twin Towers, where up to 50,000 people worked each day, both collapsed less than 90 minutes later. At 9.37 that same morning, a third airliner slammed into the western face of the Pentagon. At 10.03, a fourth airliner crashed in a field in southern Pennsylvania. It had been aimed at the United States Capitol or the White House and was forced down by heroic passengers armed with the knowledge that America was under attack. More than 2,600 people died at the World Trade Center. 125 died at the Pentagon. 256 died on the four planes. The death toll surpassed that at Pearl Harbor in December 1941. And I was buried in the darkness. I couldn't see. Dark at midnight with all these other people. And they were all screaming at the top of their lungs, but we couldn't see each other. What happened was when they dug me out from under the South Tower, they had me on a stretcher, and they ran and they placed, they placed me on the deck of a boat on the Hudson River that separates New York from New Jersey. And as they were holding my head closed, because the back of my head was split wide open, the second tower collapsed on top of the boat, and I got buried a second time in the engine room of the boat. It's fitting today, certainly, that we take time today to remember and honor the events, the sacrifices, and the victims of 9-11. But also it's fitting that we take time to recognize and honor today's public safety first responders and today's armed forces and to commemorate and recognize the continued effort that they strive and perform day to day to keep our communities and our nation safe. And I want to thank all San Diegans for taking the time to pause and reflect over these next several days. The events that happened on that day and how we will never forget and how fortunate and grateful we are as a city and as a nation for our first responders.